You ever wonder why some students seem to absolutely dominate in math? Like, they're always top of the class, solving problems that make everyone else scratch their head. Is it luck, natural talent, or maybe they're just born smart? Not really. Let's destroy that myth right now. Because what's really happening behind the scenes isn't magic, it's method. A clear, structured way of learning that anyone can follow. And once you understand it, you can master math too. So get comfortable, grab a notebook, because this is not just about studying harder. It's about studying smarter. Step 1, stop understanding, start internalizing. Most students study math the wrong way. They read the book, highlight a few formulas, watch a couple of videos, and then say, yeah, I get it, but that's not real learning. That's just familiarity. The students who truly excel, they don't just understand math. They internalize it. It becomes second nature, like a language they can think in. How do they do that? Simple. They don't learn math by watching. They learn math by doing. They'll take one problem and solve it three different ways. Why? Because each time, the brain sees the concept from a new angle. That repetition wires the knowledge so deep, it becomes impossible to forget. So remember this golden rule. You don't learn math by watching others solve problems. You learn by solving them yourself. Again and again. Step 2. Build the foundation, don't skip it. Everyone wants to jump into big, flashy topics, calculus, trigonometry, advanced algebra. But here's the truth. If your basics are weak, everything you build on top will collapse. Top students spend weeks, sometimes months, just mastering the fundamentals. Fractions. Multiplication tables. Long division. The stuff most people ignore. Because when your foundation is solid, everything else becomes easy. It's like building a skyscraper, you don't start with the top floor. So instead of rushing ahead, slow down. Perfect the basics until they're unshakable. Step 3. Practice like a scientist. Here's a secret weapon very few people talk about. The mistake notebook. High-performing students don't just erase wrong answers. They study them. They ask, why did I miss this question? Was it carelessness, confusion, or did I just rush? They write their mistakes down, not to feel bad, but to analyze them. Because mistakes aren't failures, they're feedback. And when you treat every mistake like a clue, you stop repeating them. So next time you get a math question wrong, don't delete it. Document it. You'll learn twice as fast. Step 4. Understand first, then memorize. You've heard this before, don't memorize, understand. Good advice, but not the full story. Top students take it one step further. Understand first, then memorize. They break down a formula. They ask, where did this come from? What does it mean? Once it makes sense, then they drill it with repetition until it's automatic. That's why they don't freeze during exams. They've solved 10 different versions of the same problem before. Their brain knows what to do, instantly. Step 5. Timed practice. Train under pressure. Math isn't just about accuracy. It's about speed under stress. That's why top students don't practice casually. They time themselves. 10 questions, 8 minutes. Clock ticking. Because in real exams, pressure matters. They treat practice like a real challenge, not a warm-up. And that pressure builds confidence. Step 6. Teach it, even if no one's listening. Here's another powerful method. Teach what you learn. When you explain a concept out loud, your brain switches from memorize to master. You realize what you actually know, and what you don't. That's why great learners often become great teachers. So, after finishing a topic, pretend you're teaching a class. Speak the steps out loud. You'll be surprised how much deeper your understanding becomes. Step 7. Daily consistency beats cramming. The final secret, and probably the most powerful, is consistency. Top students don't pull all-nighters before exams. They study math every single day, even if it's just 20 minutes. Because daily exposure rewires your brain. It removes fear. It makes math a habit, not a horror. Cramming builds panic. Consistency builds mastery. Final thoughts. Being great at math isn't about being born smart. It's about using systems, structure, and the right mindset. Track your mistakes. Master the basics. Practice under time pressure. Teach what you learn. And most importantly, show up every day. Because success in math, and in life, doesn't come from talent. It comes from repetition, reflection, and relentless consistency. So stop telling yourself you're bad at math. You're not. You're just one solid system away from being unstoppable. Now go practice, not for grades, but for growth. And if this video helped you, 
make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Because your journey toward mastering focus, learning, and discipline has only just begun.